Alright guys, so before I start this video, if you want to book an appointment with me directly and talk about your course or uh, admission process or visa process or documentation, anything, first link in the description is the link which you can use to book the appointment and I'll show up directly. Alright guys, welcome back once again. So I have my friend, uh, she's currently studying here in Hochschule Fulda, uh, Bachelor's in uh, Business and Management. International Business and Management. International Business and Management. We are here to learn your process of getting from all the way from Bangladesh to Germany a lot of people may be interested who are watching us is what was your profile like what documents did you submit how does the admission process look like uh, what specializations do you have so before we get into any of these things what I just said mm -hmm. can we start with a quick introduction a basic profile of yours okay I'm doing my fourth semester in Hochschule right now and um, I'm doing my bachelor on international business and management basically when I have started this is the kind of you can say opening bachelor semester uh, full in English so you were the first batch yeah I'm, in, I'm the first batch in, <laughs> from my course I'm basically come from Bangladesh and I did my uh, second higher secondary school or uh, certificate exam there and then I uh, get admitted in uh, a university and I finished my one year university there. How much did you score in your 12th grade? I got um, GPA 5 out of 5, like it's kind of GPA system in my country. So you scored 5 out of 5? Yes, I scored 5 That's out like 100%. Of five. Uh, yeah, I mean my full uh, marks was uh, altogether 90% uh, in every subject. Okay. So, um, and then in your first year of bachelor's? Uh, first year of bachelor, I did in the University of Dhaka. Yeah. Mm. And how much did you score there? Uh, I scored uh, 3.96 out of 4. Wow. Okay. That speaks a lot. To okay. get the admission in this university, you gave them three things. One is your 12th grade certificate, your first year of bachelor's, what you scored, and uh, ILTS score. ILTS score. So what bachelor's were you doing? The first year bachelor's? You did uh, in what? I did in linguistics. Wow, how is that related to business? Yes, that's the point. Actually, I also faced this same question uh, in visa office. From after my higher studies, I wanted to switch to um, business background. So then, um, you know, we have uh, we have to pass our admission test in our country. Okay. So I passed it, but I didn't get my favorable subjects. Okay. So then it was my i mean for my that result it was also my greed that i have to do well here otherwise in linguistics, in linguistics that's why you are like 100 on 100 okay. <laughs> what i have got there so i take all of these documents and do what like do i go on uni assist and or do i go on, on the university website what is the admission process i applied actually two universities both of them i had to go through uni assist okay i went there i opened an account then i uh, submitted the required documents and uh, my result mark sheets also uh, then they evaluated my um, mark sheets then they said yes you are eligible to apply here and i gave them the fees mm -hmm. then they um, then actually the normal process that's how they process yeah. okay so can you give me an understanding of how is the whole course structured like in how many semesters you have and all that okay we have a total seven semesters so it's um around 3.5 years so for first uh, two years, mm -hmm. or I can say first, uh, first uh, fourth semester, we do the uh, basic batch, uh, basic uh, business courses like um, business mathematics, uh, economics, um, then uh, introduction to business, uh, then uh, finance, corporate, uh, corporate finance, accounting. These basic things we had, uh, we have done with uh, fourth semester. After that, we have to do our internship on fifth semester. So it depends on which sector you are interested mm -hmm. to go through. Mm -hmm. So um, some people can be interested in finance. Some people are, can be interested in management, in uh, data analysis. Also, are uh, rising subject round nowadays. Yeah. So yeah, it's up to your choice uh, and up to your interest. After that, uh, on sixth and seventh semester, so sixth semester is basically our case study, business simulation, uh, some taxation, marketing, these basic things. And seventh semester is consist of uh, our final case study and thesis. I see. 
Got it. What specialization are you interested in? I'm interested in finance background actually. Okay. <laughs> Because I found that I mean uh, after doing this fourth semester, I found that I'm not too good at uh, literature kind of things like um, how business has grown and how it's gonna be go through the whole future. Uh, then uh, economical uh, explanation. Rather than these things, I am good at logical points. Okay. Like <laughs> uh, how uh, I can, I mean, how I can decide something about after analyzing some data. Since your course is completely in English, um, there is no requirement of German to get into this course. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to say that no. um, there's no requirement to. Um, the German certificate but as a foreign student we have to uh, do a foreign language and we have to take German as our foreign language and uh, so with our course we are we will be done up to B1 I see so okay. it will be I mean we don't need to do it outside uh, we can do it inside our course but you have to complete eventually exactly. till B1 to earn the whole degree please. on the whole degree exactly. right right but like But the entry requirement, there is no German. There, no. For right. the entry requirement, there is no German. Otherwise, the course is completely in English. The only thing what they are expecting, expected uh, ex out of you is, uh, eventually you will have to reach B1 certificate, go exactly. Goethe, Telk, or D, DSH. Okay. In terms of part-time job, how mm -hmm. are you managing it? Like, is the course keeping you really busy, and then you don't have any more time for to do other activities? Can you do part-time job or no? Uh, yes, I can do part-time job as our um, classes are uh, um, on four days in a week. Mm -hmm. So I get three days free. On those three days, I only do weekends for my, I took my weekends for my part-time. As well as I'm also doing a uh, student assistantship with my professor. So this is including, I do I did this work uh, well, in week, weekdays. Weekdays, yes. not on weekends. Not on, not on okay, weekends. Okay, okay. So on campus there are jobs. On campus there are jobs, but you have to uh, be sincere, definitely, mm -hmm. and uh, you have to show your interest that you wanna do any kind of uh, student job in Hochschule. Got it. What is the requirement of German then in that case? Because uh, let's say I don't end up getting a, a assistant job here in mm -hmm. on campus. I am looking for jobs outside. Fulda as a city is a small town at exactly. the end of the day, right? Exactly. Uh, what, how thick the requirement of German language is? For any kind of job or student job, we definitely need basic German language. We must need it. Yeah. Well, without basic German, I mean, if you can't uh, express what you are gonna provide your um, customer, how we will do your job? <laughs> so. Right. So it's a basic requirement to get at least some basic German. So before coming for this course, mm -hmm. even though this course is in English, mm -hmm. what's your recommendation when it comes to language? Okay, there are many YouTube videos, many YouTube lessons. Uh, just go through those. You don't need to be a professional speaker or you don't need to be a na like a native speaker. You just need to uh, manage people to understand yourself like what you're gonna offer and uh, you need to understand what they wa want from you. That's the basic thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, if you um, know the words, uh, regular life, everyday life words, you can exactly, I mean, you can manage your daily life <laughs> easily. Mm -hmm. If there is a parent who's watching us right now mm -hmm. and they, they must have this question like, okay, everything is cool, what I heard you, <laughs> how much money do I have to put out? Okay, till now, um, uh, I took only the block money from my parents. For till the first year? Or? First year. Okay. And after that, I haven't taken any money from them. Uh, I manage myself, everything. So it's doable? It's doable. It's okay. prop, I mean, it's about your uh, interest and it's about your choice. Mm -hmm. Are you gonna um, pressure, <laughs> give pressure to your parents or are you gonna manage by yourself? So I choose that I'm not gonna pressurize my parents. So uh, and it's really not hard that much. You are free almost um, uh, five days in a week, and you can manage two days for your work. Okay. It's so doable, and uh, you can earn really um, quite good amount if you work only two days in a week. How much is your cost of living for a month? Mm, approx six to six fifty euros. 
six hundred. That includes uh, what? That includes my uh, home rent, my health insurance, my food stuffs, everything. And other miscellaneous other costs. Other miscellaneous costs. Okay. What's your uh, class strength? Sorry. What is your class strength? How many people are there in your uh, class? Our class strength, um, approx fifty six students. Fifty six. Does it like like have a lot of international crowd too? Ah uh, yeah, in my course I must say there is a lot of international students. I guess we have approx uh, twenty students from Germany, okay. and rest of them are everywhere of uh, the world. Really? Yes, wow. I mean everywhere, from Middle East, from Russia, from Africa, from Asia, everywhere. Wow! You can see must there. be such Even a good experience. Even from Finland too. Really? Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> As someone who has been living here for last two two years now three mm-hmm. years ah uh, it's two years almost two years almost yeah. two years almost <laughs> yeah, yeah almost two years what's your advice to all those people who are watching us and want to study business bachelors here in this country you have to cope up with your environment so after coming here you are a student you must remember that you are a student you have been here for your study purpose so focus on your studies and cope up with the environment everything. you can manage if you can understand your environment and uh, also uh, just keep believe on yourself if you believe that you can do that you can manage it anyhow i mean it's from my own <laughs> my own experience even i some people also have that cooking stuff they can't cook alone they can't live alone something like that you can do everything people can do everything actually yeah. don't be afraid and uh, keep faith on yourself be patient and keep networking that being said networking is very important your network is your net worth never forget that uh thank you so much uh, for coming on my channel also uh, i hope you have made it till here and if you have and if you still are left with some questions which which we did not address i would say like just drop an email i'm pretty sure we can help you out um and uh, yeah how about like if you leave a like button on the video and uh, we'll see you guys next time